So, hi there, this is another video from me, and it's a waffle video once again, but don't be afraid, I won't complain today. I'm rather going to ask you questions. Well, before I start, I'll be quiet and you hear something. You may hear that quite annoying noise, uh, which is a fan sound. This is a quite expensive battery charger that I have, which is microcontroller controlled, and it's actually a really good charger. It has even more options than I actually am currently using. Well, maybe I'll use them sometime, or currently I'm not using them, because it's just too fancy-pancy. <laughs> just put in my batteries and let them charge. But as you can hear, it has a very annoying fan. It stays like six, well, let's say seven feet away from here. Oh, it's even eight feet. I'm not sure. I have to measure it. So seven to eight feet away, and it's that loud. So the problem with the charger is that this fan is, as soon as I turn it on, this fan goes on at maximum speed. Doesn't matter if I only charge a 9 volt battery, which charges at 16 milliamps, which is pretty much nothing, or if I'm charging some AA batteries. The fan is always on, and it's really annoying. But the charger is good. I just wanted to show it to you because you may be eventually asking what's the noise in the background. Okay, um. So the background noise is now clear, and now I'm going to the actual video. I was randomly changing, uh, I was randomly checking uh, the YouTube statistics, and I figured out that I'm, that I'm losing subscribers and winning subscribers. Well, overall, the amount of subscribers that I win is more than the, the amount of subscribers that I lose. For example, I lose 12 subscribers, and on the same time, I win 25. And also, uh, I've seen that my subscription level has increased from 2,500 subscribers to something a little bit more than 2,800, which is quite cool. But I'm wondering, why are these people leaving? Um, is it because I make many German videos and post them randomly, and you think I'm not making English videos anymore? Um, I've had it on a German video. Uh, I was posting a video which was in English, and someone from Germany commented, Oh, English video, I'm going to unsubscribe you. Just because of one English video. And maybe that's the same with English subscribers, so I, I try to make everyone happy, but the problem is, if I continue making English videos, my German subscribers are really going to complain about it and get mad. And if I only make German videos, well, obviously my other viewers are going to complain. So I try to keep the balance of making German and English videos. Another thing is, one thing that you may think eventually you are about to leave because uh, my rambling or my being angry videos are annoying. If yes, tell me. Uh, or if you are not interested in electronics anymore, I just try to make everyone happy. Well, there is a new segment I am thinking about and it's, it's like Stefan's repairs. I have this battery charger here and it's actually not bad. But also definitely not good. I've had a few charges from this company already, from the Ansman company. Uh, I've had two different chargers and they both are quite good, but this one's a little bit special. Because when I plugged it in, when it was new it worked, but every time it was on it just smelled hot. And if you touch it here it gets really warm. Not hot, but definitely very, very warm. Anyway, what happened with the thing is that I plugged it in into the uh, wall socket and let my batteries charge and suddenly it will turn off. So the LEDs are flashing or are like green. I think they were green when they, they were green when they were charging and suddenly they all were off like this now. Then I didn't touch it after like 20 minutes or so. It just went on again, restarted refreshing the batteries. So the LEDs were flashing and then it went into charging mode and sometimes it would charge the batteries and sometimes it would fail again. Well, you could think it's a temperature problem, but I've also had it that I plugged it in when it was cold and it didn't even start. And the problem is that this error got more worse and worse and worse, and now if I plug it in, everything that happens is eventually, on occasion, these LEDs will flash. It's like they will do a short flash, very, not very bright, and then that's all it does. So if, you, if I plug in a battery, nothing else happens. It doesn't charge, it doesn't test the battery, it just does nothing. And what I want to do is I want to open it up and attempt to repair it. And this would be a new category in my channel because now I've also, I've just built things, constructed things. But I'm planning to make this category call uh, Stefan's Repair Shop or so, where I'm going to try to fix this stuff. I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm quite pessimistic that I think I can fix it because it can just be a bad transistor or bad solder joint or something that's quite easy to track with my knowledge. Or it can be something more complex, maybe the microprocessor and there has went bad and then I just can't throw it away. I have another, I have some other things that I can fix 
I do have a, a license-free uh, uh, transmitter on the VHF band, which has the problem that it, it is not transmitting in stereo. It does work, but it's not stereo anymore, and it should be stereo. I could probably fix that one. And I have a receiver which uh, is working fine at mono, but if I switch it to stereo, it's very noisy. There's just some static, really loud static in the signal. And these are two devices that I can probably fix. But this charging device, I'll try to fix it eventually somewhere. Someone will mean in a few weeks or months, and then I will make a video about me failing or be successful. Anyway, so this is just something that I wanted to offer you, make a new category. Maybe that brings back some subscribers or keeps you staying on my channel. Okay, another thing is the baseline for my channel. Showing electronic projects, developing stuff is still the same. I want to keep that line and I have this new kit here, which is from eBay. Um, this, is, this is a tube-based uh, medium-wave shortwave transmitter, so it can transmit either on medium-wave or shortwave. And the special thing about this, as you can see here, is that it uses a tube. So this is something someone else designed, and it was a Christmas present to me. I also said I want to have that one for YouTube, and I want to keep that line. So make my own circuits, DIY circuits, teach you electronic stuff, and show you some kits that I can buy. Um, I know that others uh, who have awesome channels like Shengu 066 uh, are having different kind of videos. So he shows repairing a television, re repairing a radio, but then he also has this video where he makes urban explanation, uh, ex exploration, I'm sorry, exploration, and he goes to abandoned places like an old restaurant or some mining uh, complex. I don't know the words, I would have to look them up now. So. He's also posting some kind of social stuff. And the problem with me is I don't really know what to post here. I've already think about now it's currently still quite uh, winter here, so we have lots of snow. I talk, I think let's take the action camera and take a slide uh, down the mountain in the snow. Uh, but it's I'm, I'm just more into electronic stuff. I thought about make let's play videos, but then I would have to mess around with the licenses from the games. And also, I'm sure there are many other more talented people who uh, also then make the videos in good quality and also put some effort in commenting them and know their stuff. So, yeah. So the basic thing is I want to stay on electronic videos. Maybe I can have some random videos in between. For example, laws. But most of the time when I talk about laws, it's bad. The EU, so the European Union, wants to forbid these... Uh, where is it? Uh, these uh, pens here, these color pens, because they, I don't know if they want to forbid this specific one, but in general, very many of these pens will be forbidden soon in 2018, because they figured out there's too much lead in them, and they think, okay, a child eats these uh, uh, pens, and if child eats too much lead, it's not good. So they want to, they have decreased the maximum level of lead that is in one of these pens, uh, extremely much and so pretty much most of them will be banned or forbidden. So as you can see when I talk about laws most of the time it's it's some, something negative. If they would allow something I would also make a video. For example in the Netherlands they allowed 100 watt uh, for private radio broadcasting on AM. In Germany CB radio has become very popular. They allow 12 watt SSB. Uh, you have we have AM here which uh, we have FM here which is forbidden in, in, in America, as far as I know, and also as far as I know, in America there's a kind of weird law that says you can broadcast, I think, 250 kilometers or so, and you are not to, you're not allowed to broadcast any further. So we don't have these laws here. So you can have really much fun with CB radio. It's like a poor man's amateur radio, but the problem is therefore the broadcast laws are very, very limited. So. I read the part 15 forum quite much, so the part15.us slash forum or so, it's where they talk about license fee transmitters, and they complain, oh, New Zealand has one watt on FM, blah, 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 blah. so we have 50 nanowatts on FM. <laughs> this is like, uh, you're talking about 200, 300 feet range, we are talking about 10, 20, 30 feet range. However, so... This is just a video where I don't want to complain, I just want to talk to you. Uh, maybe you have some improvements. I know I should uh, buy a 
Uh, but I should buy something where I can mount my camera so these shaky videos stop and I'm thinking about doing that. It's just all a little bit different for me because well, I think I've told you a couple of times that I have some problems with various stuff, which is kind of tricky and I don't want to explain it too much. Um, and also you, you said, okay, make HD videos. I have checked my camera where I'm currently filming. I, I have set it to, uh, the, to a low resolution, so I can go up to 1280 by 720, which would be HD. But the problem is if I do that, the file size goes uh, like up in the sky and uploading the videos then takes like just too long for me. And as a video right now, where I'm just waffling, wherefore would you need HD? Okay, um, so now let's go to the circuit, which uh, on a German TeamSpeak server, where I'm quite often, someone requested or talked that he tried to build it and he didn't, uh, he wasn't able to do it. It's, I don't know the purpose of the circuit. He told me that he wants a circuit that he connects to a music source and every time in his music there is some bass, it switches a relay, similar, similar like some disco light or something. Okay, I have built the circuit and I'm going to demonstrate it so we have at least one electronic component and I'm going to start some music here from the non-copyright sounds channel. So I turn it on, you can hear it. I, I play it over the laptop and when the beat starts I connect this device. So now the bass is on, at least in theory, to the small speakers you can't really hear it that good. So I connect the circuit and that's what it does. So you can see by the rhythmic uh, flashing light, every time there is some bass, it does switch on the relay. Once again, I don't really know wherefore he needs this, uh, but he asked me, or we talked, and I said, okay, I can build something like that for you. And that's pretty much the circuit. So here is the. So there seems to be some quiet phase now. And the problem is with the circuit that. Let's pause it, just a second. So, uh, the problem with the circuit is that it's if I make too much gain, it will also on these rather silent passages, uh, it will give a signal to the relay and the relay will stay on forever. And so it's, well, once again, I don't know wherefore he needs it. I think he needs it for some kind of disco light and here is the schematic. As NPN, you can use a 2N3904, some standard transistor as PNP, you can use a 2N3906 and these diodes are 1N4001 or 1N4148. Nothing special going on here. And there are two different modes because this is the first one that you saw with the relay. Uh, and I think he needs, he wants to make some disco lights, so you better use a transistor, like a power transistor. And then on the output here, instead of the relay, you connect a 220 ohms resistor to your NPN transistor, and this would be the light bulb. And if you use, if you need really some power, you can use a MOSFET, and then you connect the output directly to the output from the transistor, and make a 10K resistor from gate to ground, so the MOSFET is going to uh, switch off again. So this is pretty much the uh, circuit that you just saw all the time, and some waffling. Feel free to post comments if you want, if you have some suggestions for new videos. Keep in mind that I am now busy again, so my vacation is currently over. It takes quite a few months until the next vacation, or a few weeks until I have like a four-day weekend, and I can eventually start projects. Keep also in mind that I'm not only working on YouTube projects, I'm also having some projects in my own interest, and on the Cannabis Driver, uh, yeah, let's say partnership, I mean, in, in terms of make circuits together, I'm also working on some circuits for him. So I will attempt to make this. I know that many people suggested audio amplifiers, but if you want to have audio amplifiers, there's a channel called Cool Dude Clem, and he has made dozens of audio amplifiers, and he's more skilled in audio amplifiers than I am, because all I can do is I can look on the internet for audio amplifier. I mean, I know the basics how these amplifiers work, but I can play around with the values a little bit and say, hey, that's my circuit. Not really something I'd appreciate. Okay, so that's enough for me, long waffle video. Um, okay, have a nice day, Stefan.